Ciao legends, ciao superstars, it's Peps, and we're bringing you the round 15 tips for a massive week of AFL football. It's going to be a cracker dacker week of footy games, and I'll tell you what, picked only four winners last week, but it doesn't matter because I'm bringing you the six pack of the best, and it's all kicking off. This Friday night, Geelong versus Carlton, 7.40pm at the House of Stoush, the MCG. Carlton have Green on an absolute tear over the last number of weeks. Geelong have been pretty good themselves. But when I put these two teams together, who do I have more faith in? Well, it's not being played down there at GMHBA Stadium. So that, to me, trendsetters, is saying that Carlton are going to win this one. I just love everything that they're doing in the midfield. They're getting more and more players back. Geelong, I still think they're a little bit shaky. Still don't trust them at this stage. And I think their position on the ladder is a little bit better than I thought it would be. And a lot of people think that they should be as well too. So I have a lot more faith in Carlton with Kerno, with Mackay. You've got to love all the boys in the middle there. Cripps, Walsh, Chera, everything down there. We're doing it down back. I just love what Carlton are doing. Carlton fans, you need to be pumped because you're going to be winning this game. You're going to be winning it by about three goals, I reckon. And absolutely locking in the top four position for finals in 2024. All right, let's head over to Saturday afternoon at the Adelaide Oval, Port Adelaide versus the Brisbane Lions. Whew, tell you what, Port Adelaide, could they get any worse? Are they the worst top eight team floating around at the moment? I'd have to say, I think that they are. The Brisbane Lions are starting to get into a bit of form, ladies and gentlemen, and I tell you what, they are a shoo-in to win this one. Port, they couldn't hit water if they fell out of a boat, I reckon, at this particular moment in time, and nothing is gonna make it better. They've got no Charlie Dixon, they've got no forward line, and if Horn Francis and Rosie and Butters don't do anything in the middle, it's going to make it very, very difficult. And when you've got two forwards such as Danaher and Hipwood killing it right now, nothing is going to stop the Lions. Hey, I tell you what, this could get a little bit ugly if things go the Lions' way. I'm going by five goals at a minimum and really put a dampener on the Port Power. Almost blackout for their season to make top four and really starting to struggle to make top eight for the end of the season. I'll tell you who's one team that will not be struggling for 2024 making finals. It's the Sydney Football Club. And they're playing the GWS Giants at NG Stadium, Saturday, 4.35 p.m. It is the Battle of the Bridge. And if this game was played about eight weeks ago, it probably would have been one of the games of the season. But GWS have hit a bit of a roadblock at the moment, and they're just not playing the football that we expected them to be uh, delivering with, especially how they started at the beginning of the season. They had a good win last week, but we know what Sydney did. They tore it up after quarter time against the Adelaide Crows, and you've got to have it a Marty party when he kicked nine. Will he be able to do it two weeks in a row? It doesn't really matter because they've got a spread of goal kickers that is the envy of 17 other teams in the league. And with that, and Toby Green not firing on all cylinders at the moment. They've got no Sam Taylor due to injury. It's going to be another Sydney win. They're already three games clear on top of the ladder. And the way that they're going, they're going to be breaking that open even more. So I reckon it might be tight for maybe two, two and a half quarters, but Sydney will pretty much streak away with this one. And they're going to take this one out by, I reckon, four goals and Brody Grundy to have another belter of a game for all those Melbourne supporters to sit back and go, why did we let you go? Well, talking about my boys, Melbourne, North Melbourne, Saturday, 7.30 p.m. at the MCG. Could this be a massive upset? We know that there's not going to be any Petrarca. There is not going to be any lever. North Melbourne would have beat, I reckon, Outside of Sydney and Collingwood last week, the way that they played for those first two and a half quarters. And if they turn up and do what they did at the MCG on Saturday night, they're going to beat Melbourne because Melbourne really haven't stood for anything and they're falling for everything right now. So I'm going out on a limb. Yes, as a mad Melbourne man, as you can see behind me, I'm going to say Melbourne are going to lose against North Melbourne at the MCG by less than a goal and really put the pressure on a club that really has so much pressure on it at the moment, they could burst at the seams and put their chances of not even making finals another nail in that coffin. Could it potentially happen? It definitely could, but I could also see Melbourne winning by 10 goals. That is what I think may happen, but I don't think it will. I reckon North Melbourne might pinch this one 
and uh, Clarkson. Well, I'll tell you what, that uh, number one draft pick may not be looking good like it did at the end of last year. All right, let's go over to Marvel Stadium. Sunday afternoon, 1 p.m., Essendon versus West Coast. Wow. West Coast fell into their old tricks recently. We thought that they were going to have an absolute belter of a game, fell away completely. Essendon had the week off, and they're going to be fresh. They're playing at Marvel. Uh, Reed is uh, going to be missing another game, unfortunately, so no Reed, no West Coast. Essendon by at least seven goals. Peter Wright will get back into some form. Stringer will cameo as also. Uh, Nick Martin will miss every target, but apparently he's in all Australian calibre form. Um, but they'll be way, 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 way too strong. Six, seven, eight goals, potentially, and uh, nailing in that top four spot. They have to win these games because they really do have a tough run in the back end of the season. And we know Western supporters know this. They always fall away after the bye as well, too. So the lid is still on for a lot of Western supporters right now. A win just to get some more percentage because you've got a really woeful percentage at the moment will make it just a little bit easier and get a little bit of room between the rim and the lead. All right, last game for the weekend. And in my eyes, outside of the first game, Geelong versus Carlton and the Battle of the Bridge, this could be a great way to finish off the weekend. Fremantle versus Gold Coast at Optus Stadium. Fremantle, atrocious last week. Gold Coast had the week off. They are due for a an away win, uh, Gold Coast. And uh, I don't think it's going to be this weekend, unfortunately. They need to get these wins against teams in a similar type of space as themselves. And unfortunately, I just think the big long distance, Frio will be massively upset for what they rolled out last week. It is 7, like I said, Sunday, 4 p.m., last game of the weekend. And I reckon uh, Fremantle might just get a little bit of form back and, and potentially pinch this one. This is only, I reckon, a lot closer than a lot of people think. There will be a massive crowd there, and I don't think the Suns are going to handle that all too well. So I'm going by Fremantle to um, pick up from the, the woes uh, in front of goal recently and get back into form. And they'll win this one quite easily, I reckon, by about four or five goals, I reckon. Uh, so there's only six games this weekend. Multitude of teams have got buys. Uh, we're talking about the Crows, Collingwood, Western Bulldogs. We're talking about the Hawks, St. Kilda and Richmond, all having the week off. It's the last weekend of buys. And thank goodness, because we hate these split rounds. They are an absolute shitstorm, let's be honest. I can't stand them. And neither do you. But one thing you do love is I was bringing you this content. Lace out every single week. I bring the tips. Join us 8 p.m. every single Monday night. If you love the content, please subscribe. Ring the bell. No fuss. No frills. Just how we like our footy. Lace out. Good luck to your team if you're winning. And more importantly, thanks for tuning in.